Hey guys, I'm going to take you through the steps to create a Blu-ray or DVD inside of Compressor. Now, I don't have a DVD, I mean a Blu-ray burner, excuse me, hooked up to this computer, just a DVD burner. So I'm going to take you through creating a DVD, but it's almost the exact same process as creating a Blu-ray. The only difference is you need a Blu-ray burner, which I don't have. So when you first fire up Compressor, you'll see this little um, template batch options. And of course, naturally, since we're creating a DVD, we're going to select create DVD okay so and if for some reason you opened up compressor and it didn't give you that little batch template that's no problem go up to file new batch from template create DVD choose okay so there we go now it automatically throws in the presets that we need to create this DVD now as you can see here we have this little gear symbol saying create DVD that means this is what it's going to do. Whatever it says up here is what it's going to do after it gets done encoding. Okay. So if I select this, you can see if I select this job, this whole job, not a preset, but if I select the whole job and go up to my inspector and select job action tab, which is new for compressor 3.5. Okay. We'll have all these options. Now you see mine is create DVD. So when job completes, create DVD. We can also set it to do nothing add it to the iTunes library, create a Blu-ray disc, which as you see gives you the same exact menu as the DVD, it's just you have a couple extra options, you can add a logo and a title and a background graphic, and you can create a web reference movie, open with an application, you can publish to Mobile Me, you can run an automated workflow, or you can publish to YouTube. Naturally we're going to create a DVD. It'll ask you for what DVD player you want to use if you have more than one hooked to your system. Ask you for your disc template. There's only two. For now, I'm sure maybe there'll be some third-party ones come out later. As you can see, here is the black main menu and the black chapter menu. If you add any chapter markers to your movie, it will add wherever you add these chapter markers over here. In my previous video, I showed you how to add markers. We added a podcast marker, but you can easily add a chapter marker. And every chapter marker you add will show up here in the chapter menu, so you can skip to those chapters. Or you can choose the white template, which is the same thing, only it's white. It's completely up to you. So let's go with the black. Let's title our disc. You can title it anything you want. I'll title it Apple Lifestyle. Okay. Now when the disc loads, it's going to ask you, what do you want to do? Do you want to show the menu or do you just want to go ahead and play the movie? Now for a screener, if you just got something you want to show somebody, play movie is perfect. But if you got chapters and stuff you want, I would suggest show menu. Now you can use chapter markers text as subtitles if you want to. That means the whatever you title your chapter marker, it will use that text as subtitles. You can add a background. You hit add and you can add a picture of any kind you want here. Let's select something. Mac Pro, okay. Now you can see we put our little Mac Pro disc in there. And you can see now here is our menu. We have Apple Lifestyle. And we have our picture that we put in there. And we have the play button here. So now we have all this set up. So now all we got to do is add our movie. So let's go ahead and drag our movie in. Okay, so now we have our movie drug in there. And over here it is. And we have our Create DVD menu and everything set up. I'm not going to encode the whole movie, so I'm just going to play through about three seconds. Okay, guys, this video is to Mobile Phone 2003. Sorry about the volume there. So now I've played through about four seconds of the video. I'm going to hit the Out key, the O key to set an out point, so that way it will just encode between those four seconds there, so it won't take forever. Okay, so now when we get done with that, let's go ahead and hit Submit. Now it's going to go ahead and start encoding. Now as you can see it's just about done and when it does get done it's going to ask us to insert our blank media and see as you can see there it's going to fire up the application create disk right here as you can see which is in your utilities folder. No it's in your QMaster folder under application support I'm pretty sure but it is an application and as the disk burns if you look real close down here you'll see this little blue ring and this blue ring fills from inside out and when it gets full your disk is done okay I'm not even sure if it will tell you hey your disk is done burning 
you might just have to pay attention to this little emblem icon and when it gets full you can eject your disc so there it says please insert the media to burn so you put in your media and when it gets done burning it'll ask you if you want to burn another one so you don't have to go through the encoding process again yada 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 and all that good stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel my burn right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and quit compressor I don't want to save anything because this was just a tutorial okay so now I've burned one ahead of time and I'm going to show you what it looks like now this I have everything saved to my desktop you might have a specific place you want to save your files and stuff too as you can see here's my DVD file my PAR file as you can see that it's using to burn and stuff and you can select your own directory I've just got it all laid out here on the desktop just for convenient purposes so here's the one I burned beforehand let's go ahead and fire it up and there it is we have no chapters so I have no chapter um, button to go to and I hit play it'll play okay, my movie guys this video is to mobile phone 2003 I went ahead and, and burned the DVD, and, and that's that. So let's go ahead and quit that. And as you can see, it's burned and labeled Apple Lifestyle. And that is how you burn a DVD or Blu-ray. Blu-ray is the exact same thing, just as easy. You just use a Blu-ray disc, and you can add a couple little extra things like titles and logos. And that's it. It is that simple. If you want to get more in-depth, you want to use DVD Studio Pro, which can absolutely do anything to a DVD. Um, if you're interested in burning DVDs. But if you want to burn a Blu-ray, you can use Final Cut Pro or Compressor. And I enjoy using Compressor. I think it's great, and um, I hope you guys took a lot from this. We'll see you next time.